Hi everybody, my name is Antoinette and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing the very colourful and the very cheerful Adventure Mart. And this comes from Hub Games and it's a game by Digi Sprite. Um, this is a review copy. I'm really, really excited to get to play with it. Um, and just look at it. Isn't it just like a bundle of joy in a box? Um, clearly it's going to be to do with shopping and adventure, something we all could do with more of in our lives. And this has been a bit of a treat to have arrived to my house today and there's all this color. Um, it's quite a small size box looks pretty great. It's for two to four players, um, ages 10 plus, and it's supposed to take 45 to 60 minutes to play, which considering actually how cutesy and fun it looks, it looks very family friendly. That's quite a, a lengthy time. So there's probably more to this game than meets the eye. Okay, so let's have a look at the side of the box. So you can see into the mart, it's beautifully colorful on every side. And on the back, we get a peek at what the game itself might look like. So, from what I can tell, it definitely looks like we're going to have plenty of some cards and some tokens. Um, so the life of a store manager is brief but glorious. Can you become manager of the week? Um, that's actually a, a quite a cool concept for a board game. There are a number of games um, to do with shopping and buying things. Um, so this should hopefully um, be pretty interesting um, and different to those kind of things. I love the art. I like how colored it is. Right, let's hop right inside the box and see what we find. Okay, so first thing inside is what looks like the rule book. Hello, managers. Or managers. Um, and it is the exact same size as the box. Actually, quite a good size for a rule book. I like that it kind of talks to you. Look at the art. It does feel definitely very family friendly. So let's have a peek inside. So, setting up what you got to do, your first game. That's nice. Um, the font here is huge. So, the rule book is deceptively large. Um, descriptions of like the different icons, There's plenty of pictures to help you understand what you're doing. So I have to play some golden rules. I always love when rule books do that. Making an offer, all the things you can do. And then there's a review here at the end, which is good. And a glossary of terms. Always appreciate those. Quite a good bit. And then some FAQs, um, some credits, always good. And the back of it, hey! very good classy a handy reference guide um, I love that it's got pictures with it it's not just a list of words as well so that's pretty cool I really like the size of that as well it's great okay so now we're getting down into the box so we have a number of tokens um, these are huge and chunky we'll have a look at them now in a moment and some have been already popped out and inside we have wow what is a rather epic looking game insert round a round insert interesting we have some bags, there's the money that fell out, and we have two decks of cards. So um, let's have a look at these a little bit more closely. So we have two punch boards. Um, clearly this is money, and these are definitely tokens. They're very cute, I love the colors. Let's see what type of cardboard we have. So, okay, easy to punch out, super thick, very, very nice, good sturdy stuff. Um, very cute. I really like the use of the primary colours actually, everything stands out kind of well. And we'll have a check at the coins. So only fives and ones, I suppose maybe you're making the big monies. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's the same, it's this beautiful, like you know, the really heavy thick cardboard and plenty of coins. So next! So the rest of the box is comprised of these two decks of cards. So let's look at them one at a time, shall we? So the backs of these say Daily Bulletin. So Jelly Bulletin cards, with adventure cards, adventurers cards even. What's this? So there's a lot of adventurers. Then there are staff, fixtures, and fixtures. Okay, so let's have a look at these different types of cards. So fixtures, what do we got? So we have an Ether Slush Fountain. When you have the initiative token, you may have, you have plus one when selling. Okay, cool. Transmutation station, so those are duplicates here. Divination, these are quite cool. I quite like the art as well. The art's very, very cute. The bonsai of knowledge. So these are obviously things that help you when you're getting ready to sell things, your fixtures in your shop. What's next? So we'll go with the daily bulletins. So, cause that sounds a little bit like a newspaper. So or we cash injection, each manager gains four from the price. So these look like event cards, which is cool. I like the idea of having something kind of um, random happen to you while you play, especially if they're good. All of these sound kind of good actually, don't they? They sound decent, I wouldn't complain. Brilliant. So then, what's next before we get to the adventurers? Whoop. 
So we have, I think they were called, oh wow, there's a lot of adventures. So we have staff, so clearly people who work in your store. So Samuel Scoot, Arch Ghoul, okay, she's an adventure added, okay, so they all have abilities, which is nice. Oh, and, and different phases of use and sell with Crystal Alchemist. The art's lovely. And they're like, oh, everybody, oh, look, it's a cat cleric. We should all be here. Oh, no, mini beats. Yeah, so this game is totally, like, adorable all around, um, and I love that. I think, you know what, too many games are just too serious. I think there's absolutely nothing wrong with something cute and fun and easy to while away the time with. I can, oh, there they go. So the adventures seem to go sideways. So we have a Sorcerer Supreme. What kind of stuff does she do? When revealed, each manager draws two stock. After checking, each manager discards it's two stock. Okay, cool stuff. Mistress Jira. So if these are the adventures, the people who come into your store, so obviously things are going to happen. Um, they have symbols down the side, so obviously they're going to need those. Um, these are adorable as well. Got the whole thing this is really cute. That's a lot of apprentices. Oh, look, it's a bear. Okay, I'm super excited to play this. Ah, a giant snail. Um, this is, yeah, this is just so adorable and cute. Okay, so now we've one more pile of cards. Let's see what these ones are. So stock. Oh, oh wait. They're entirely stock. So okay, there's a lot, I, I, like there's a lot of cards here. There's a good variety, I'd say. Okay, so you can have Dungeoneering Bento. What's a good number of those? A health potion, always good. Oh, look at it, it's got cat ears. Wondrous cloak, power stone, a handy hatchet. Excellent, okay, so all sorts of cool stuff to have in your shop. I can't wait to try this out. A blood wand. Nightmare catcher, sounds like something we could all do with our lives. Cross potpourri, yeah. Like the variety here and the type of cards and their naming and the artwork, I think is what makes this game really endearing. Um, so that is all of the cards and I believe that's everything in the box. So let's see put it all um, back together. Um, this is actually a really, really nice insert considering how small a game it is. And I've made the executive decision that the coins must belong in here in the roundy bit so you can pull out the monies. What do you think? I think that sounds good. Um, and I, I like the fact it's there. I love the fact it's blue. It just really brightens everything up. So I put it back in and back on the shelf. So yeah, that was a quick unboxing for Adventure Mart. I'm making a hames of this, trying to put it back in. There we go. I swear it's not that difficult in real life. Um, so, what do you guys think about it? Um, I really love how it looks. It looks like a lot of thought and time and effort went into this game. It looks like, you know, something that is a little bit special, perhaps. So, you've been watching Board Game Inquisition, and that was Adventure Mart. Um, hopefully, you will join me again for more videos. If you'd like updates about those, you can like or subscribe along to my channel, where we'll have future unboxings and future reviews for lovely games like Adventure Mart. Thank you so much for watching, and take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Um,